Welcome back to another Twisted League progress video. In the last episode I hit 85 Slayer and attempted to go for the Abyssal Whip. Unfortunately after killing 2000 demons I did not get it. I'm up to 23, nearly 24 million ranged XP. Decided I'm going to go back to finish up 25 million XP and if I don't get the whip within that short amount of time I'm just going to go back to Slayer or do some other skilling and try and get an Abyssal Demon task and do it that way because I essentially spent over a week camping Abyssal Demons um, only gaining the ranged XP because I wasn't on task and I'm slightly concerned how far behind I have fallen um, so fingers crossed we can get the whip soon. Enjoy the episode. Oh, finally. I'm so happy to see that on the floor. Up to 24 and a half mil XP. I don't have my Slayer gem on me, but I'm going to go and bank and find out what the final case he was. I'll finish killing this one because I feel like a bit of a dick leaving one that's been hit. That is such a relief. And that was such a slog as well. I can actually go back to Slayer now and train my melee stats with a decent weapon. Oh boy. So not counting that one extra kill, it would have been 2,116 kills to get the whip. Well over four times the drop rate, which is ridiculous. And have a look at all the clues I've got stacked up in my bank. 370 hard clues, which will take me up to 420 overall. 195 elites to do as well. Before I head back to Slayer, I'm going to do a few clues and see if I can get some gear upgrades. From the mediums, I want to see if I can get a cloak and mitre for the prayer bonus. I'll do 50 more hard clues on the off chance that I can snag a trimmed glory. And from the elites, I'd like a dragonstone ring and bracelet for the ring of wealth and combat bracelet. I might end up doing all of the masters I get and the mimics as well. I'll be back with some caskets soon. So this is the only medium clue step that I can't do currently. I've got Addy plate legs in the bank but I still need an adamant plate body and the full helm. So what I'm going to do is when I get this step I'll open any medium clues I've got in my inventory just on the off chance that I can get the two pieces to complete the set and then if not trade it in to Watson. Ah oh, that's unlucky. That is also unlucky so I have to trade it in. Oh, there we go, that is the full helm, so I just need the plate body now. I did get another step, so I thought I'd try and see if I could finish the set. <laughs> Not the plate bodies I needed, that's odd. I'm having to hand in more of the elite clues than I had anticipated, so I'm going to be opening them as I get them. That way, you know, I'm not stacking up 10 at a time, getting the items that I want on the first couple of clues, and then wasting those other elite clues that I've had to hand in. So let's see if we can get anything off these two. Oh nice, yeah, so Dragonstone Ring, that's the Ring of Wealth. And yeah, that's not too bad. I'll keep going for the Combat Bracelet, hopefully. Hey, there we go, the Addy Plate Body. So now I can do all of the medium clue steps. I don't have to worry about dropping them or trading them in anymore. <laughs> Three back to back. Well, can't say fairer than that, can you? Oh, <laughs> that took a while to register, but that is the rune crossbow, which I don't have yet. That's pretty nice. Um, I've used maybe over 20 elite clues and I've only managed to open seven so far. I'm going to keep going because it's not too rare for one of the dragonstone jewelry pieces. And the combat bracelet is definitely my best option for melee, so I think it's worth grinding out. Oh my goodness. Gilded square shield. That is unbelievably rare. I think I've had one piece of gilded ever. I uh, Possibly on my main account. I don't think I've had a gilded piece on my Iron Man. Wow, okay. Oh, there we go. 13 elite clues. It's a Dragonstone bracelet. So I've now got a combat bracelet and a ring of wealth. What I'm going to do is finish up these medium clues, which will take me to 25 more to open overall. I was opening them as I went. Uh, only recorded the loot that was really worth mentioning and then of what I've got in the bank a little bit laggy at the moment um, five hard clues and three masters to open I'm just gonna do those I'm not gonna bother doing any more so I'm quite keen to get back to Slayer so let's see what we can get oh my goodness Ranger Boots I was not expecting those on my 25th medium I they, these aren't actually that useful I think they are slightly better than where are they? My blessed dehyde. 
So these give a plus seven with a plus one prayer. These are plus eight. So it's a very small difference, but um, definitely cool to see. Hey, there we go. That's the mitre I was looking for. Hoping I can still get a prayer cloak as well. Oh, <laughs> another pair of boots. Can't actually wear these. You need to have done the quest. But that is the end of medium clues. No cloak, unfortunately. But we've got a few hearts and masters to open too. Ooh, that is a really nice amount of wines for making some range potions. And nothing from the rest of them. But happy with what I picked up from these clues. Gonna head back to Slayer now. Hey, that was what I was hoping for this task. A pair of rune boots. They're gonna be the best melee boots I have. Unless I possibly get the spiked manacles from medium clues. Though those are very rare. So perfectly content with these. Um, so I guess, yeah, the only real upgrade I would be looking for now for my melee setup would be that prayer cape and a glory if I could get one. If I got a dragon stone from the rare drop table, definitely would grind out the crafting. Otherwise, I guess it's going to be hard clues. Oh, oh, Miss Battlestaff. That, I, do you get 100 points for wielding that? Yes, you do. That's pretty cool. I wasn't really expecting to get any of the unique drops off superiors on my way to 95 Slayer. So that's a nice little surprise. Just hit base 80 melee stats. I am training on controlled. I don't think it's the most efficient thing to do in the world. Probably better to get my attack and strength up, but I'm doing it this way anyway. That's a nice uh, 300 points to see on the board there. Just hit 25 million farming XP. I'm gonna try and hit 50 by the end of the league. I'm not entirely sure if I'll be able to do it. It may be quite tight, but uh, would be a very nice 500 points just from doing sort of tree runs every day if I could manage it. I'm going to be unlocking Lizard Mentas from Konar. I need to get an awful lot of charges for my Xerix Talisman for when I am completing all of the clue scrolls. And if I could just get some of those on my way to 95 Slayer, I think that would be worth it. Picking up my first Drake task as well, which is really nice. Uh, get some decent bones off them and possibly a couple of the rare drops to upgrade the Boots of Brimstone and potentially the uh, Holy Sandals as well if I ever got those. Hey, there we go. That is 25 million ranged XP for a very cool 250 points. I am ranging these drakes. It seems to be a lot quicker than melee. So it'll probably be these tasks and the shamans that I end up ranging. I don't think 50 mil range XP is going to be feasible for me um, by the end of the league though. Well, that isn't quite as useful as the claw, which would allow me to upgrade my brimstone boots. I've actually been trying to get this on uh, the main game for ages. But if I do happen to get any holy sandals... That would be a nice little upgrade. Oh, so it's going to be like that, is it? I think I've got about three or four of the claws on the main game. Am I going to end up with three or four of the teeth on the Twisted League? We shall see. Ooh, that's an upgrade. It's certainly not rare from the Brutal Black Dragons. I don't know exactly what the drop rate is, but that's cool to see. Well, that one snuck up on me. 99 hit points, 250 league points as well. Very nice. Oh, there we go. That is the prayer cloak that I was looking for. 55 medium clues. A very nice plus three prayer bonus for Slayer. Well, that is a slightly rare and completely useless drop. The shield left half. So I think I've actually had most of the things off the rare drop table now. Well, I figured that might happen. That is the second abyssal whip. Not too sure what the KC is, but certainly should have had uh, more than two in the amount of demons I've killed by now. <laughs> just picked up my second bottomless compost bucket. Not got any use for me, but uh, yeah, it's kind of rare. All right, this superior should get me 95 Slayer, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, there we go. Finally, can kill the Hydras for the Mystic Row bottom. I might see if I can try and get a task, because I wouldn't mind doing 100 of the boss, just for the points. Uh, so I'm going to finish this task anyway just on the off chance that I get another superior because I'm quite close to having 10 killed I think for the task and that would be something that I would be looking to do as well. Another pleasing thing is that I've managed to pick up 10 dark totems on my way to 95 Slayer. There is a task for killing Scotizo 10 times. I believe the next milestone after that is 25 which isn't really realistic for me. So I'm going to end the video by doing these 10 kills. 
in terms of drops it would be nice to get the dragonstone drop because then I can make myself a glory otherwise there is the slim chance of getting the pet it's 1 in 65 and that would be a really nice 500 points and probably the most realistic boss pet for me to get all right here is kill number 10 quite possibly the last Gatiza kill I'm gonna do in the league no loot of note from the previous ones but we are picking up 100 points for killing 10 of those so that's not too bad and with that we're going to wrap up today's episode i hope you have enjoyed watching it's been really good to uh, get slayer out of the way and i'm looking forward to doing a lot of clues in the next episode i think that's going to be the main focus i've basically got all of the hard clues that i need i want to get up to 250 elite clues so i'm probably going to kill some lizard men shaman just so that i can get some extra charges for the xerix talisman and i'll probably pick up enough easy and medium clues to do a big batch of those and finish all of the points for the clue scrolls in one video which should be good fun hope you have enjoyed the video if you did feel free to drop a like and if you want to uh, make sure you don't miss the next episode feel free to subscribe as well but until next time guys take care